Sorry about it. Okay. Connection went down. And like uh, Jocelyn, unfortunately, I was working with Jocelyn, right? <laughs> Who was Jocelyn? Are you here, Jocelyn? Is she gone? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hi, just... teacher. Jocelyn, questions for you. Are you married? Me pregunta si, si estoy casada o algo. Yes. Um, no, I'm not. Okay, very good. Um, listen, do you have brothers and sisters? Repeat. Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes, I take sister. Okay, what is her name? Mm, what's your name? Cecilia, Adegana, and Meladis. And Meladis. What is Cecilia doing right now? Please, como dijo, no sé. What is Cecilia doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Yes. My sister Cecilia takes in same TV. Oh, okay. She's seeing or she's watching? Watch. Watching, very good. Okay, watching. Acuérdense, see, yes. tenemos dos verbos see and watch. Esos dos Acuérdense. verbos. Since es, está viendo, ¿verdad? O viendo. Exacto, y es ver. Sí, es since. Y watch, y watch también es ver. La diferencia es que sí es algo que hacemos naturally. Te abre los ojos y you see, right? Y ya, claro, si no los abre, pues you don't see. Okay. Yeah. So if you open your eyes, you see. That is naturally, right? You do it not every single time you do it, right? And the other one is watch. You pay attention on something, right? If you're watching the TV series Wednesday, you watch that thing. Okay, you stay, go to, on TV, you go on Netflix or maybe HBO, you stay, selecciona the thing you are going to watch. Okay, because that's something that you like and you watch that. Okay, thank you so much. Again, okay. this is present continuous. Okay, present continuous. We're gonna have this example in here. If you take a look. Okay, what are, what, what are you doing these days? Okay. This is this is a, like a typical conversation about what are the things you're doing these days, okay? So what are you doing these days? I'm playing basketball in college. That's nice. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. We can use the present continuous to talk about things that we do. Yeah. And we have here different topics to talk about. The first one is traveling, playing a sport living alone, going to high school or college, uh, learning a musical instrument, working or studying, okay? So you can have different options, right? Because the question is here, what are you doing these days? Okay, when I mean days, that means one, two, three, four, five, or six, or seven, different days. Okay, so just more than one day, maybe two, maybe three, and so on and so on. So what are those things that you have or that you are going to do this day? What are you doing this day? What are you going to do? Well, you're going to select one of these options, options that you have, and you are going to answer these questions. For example, let me show you. The question is, what are you doing these days? Oh, let's say. You can start on Monday, on Monday, okay, on Monday, and you can say working, okay, I'm working, I'm working, oopsie, I'm working, yeah, um, let's say all day, all day, oh my gosh, I did a mistake, I work, I'm working all day. Yep. Okay. Or something else because I need days. Entonces tiene que darme más de uno. No solo uno, más de uno, right? Or you can say, okay, um, let me see. 
Oh, going, going. On, on, on Wednesday, let's say, on Wednesday, okay, on Wednesday, um, you can say, um, um, going, I'm going, um, to, um, I don't know. Supermarket. I'm going to Madrid, let's say, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. You can say, I'm going to Madrid, or you can say, I'm traveling to Madrid. You can use both of them at the end, the same thing. Okay. Yes. So this is the way you do it. This is the way you do it. This is the question. What are you doing these days? Y como va a contestar? Así como estos campos that you have here, picking out one of this one. Oh, si usted quiere agregar otro, welcome. You can do it anytime. Okay? ¿Entendió cómo va a ser this exercise? Yes? Yes? Primero, escribe la question, right? You write the question, yeah? Y luego me responde con dos o tres o más opciones based on your information. Yep. No sé si me entendió, Raúl. Edgar, you got it? Um, Laura? Hello, teacher. Okay, Ernesto, very good. Primero va a escribir sí, la una cuestión. consulta. Eh, aunque, no le, aunque no esté haciendo esa acción ahorita, siempre utilizo el verbo eh, presente continuo. En going, as, going as to. Así es, así es. Porque aquí ya vamos con así. otro contexto. Vamos con el segundo contexto del placer continuo. En el anterior era lo que estábamos haciendo. Moment, right? Yes. Sí. Ahora vamos a hablar un poco acerca de lo que usted va a hacer como future. Something about future here. Y es algo que usted tiene planeado oh. hacer y que lo va a hacer like uh, this Eso day. Lo, lo que vamos a hacer, digamos, en unos dos o tres días o en una semana. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Y es ahora, este es el other way that we can use present continuous. En el primero vimos everything we do at the moment, right? Ahora estamos viendo something about future. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, usted va a realizar esto tomorrow, or maybe Friday, or maybe Saturday. Puede utilizar el present continuous to talk about it. ¿Ya? Yeah. Con cualquier verbo. Con cualquier verbo. Exacto. Everything. Like, claro, tiene que ser una acción normalmente. Yeah. Something that you do.
When you finish and you're ready, just raise your hand so I can hear your sentences, okay? Pretty good. Teacher, la, yes. la, la pregunta que se va a contestar se refiere como qué estuvimos haciendo estos días en pasado. Eh, no, it's about the future, Jocelyn. Ahorita it's about the future. Las cosas que usted tiene planeada hacer this, this week, these days, let's say, estos días. Ah, oh, ok. Gracias. Ana Marisol. Hello, teacher. Um, la pregunta sería, what are you doing this day, verdad? Days, very good. Um, um, on Wednesday, um, I am going to hospital. And on Friday, in the shopping. And Sunday, I am going to visit my mother. Very good. Very good. Okay. Solo la oración del Friday. Okay, sí faltó, teacher. Sí le faltó completa. Repeat that one. El, el del Friday. On Friday is a travel San Salvador, the shopping. You can say I'm traveling to San Salvador. Traveling. I'm traveling yes. to San Salvador to, let's say, to do the shopping. To do the shopping. To do the shopping. Okay, teacher. Very good. Okay. Thanks. Lorena, you're next. Hello. Hi. I'm glad that you're doing these days. On Monday, I am going to visit to my best friend. And on Wednesday, I am going to go shopping. On Friday, I am going to celebrate a birthday party. And on Sunday, I am going to wash my clothes. Okay, in the ultima, it says on Sunday, O sea, ella es it's, it's correct, Lorena. Cuando me dijo, I'm going to watch my clothes. Pero, sí le recomiendo que vaya directo con el present continuous. On Sunday, I'm washing my clothes. Yep. No me utilice, porque la mayoría me utilizó, I'm going to. Okay. I mean, that is correct. That is correct, Lorena. It's 100% correct. Pero, en ese ya sería future continuo. Perdón, future con going to. Yes. Porque me está diciendo, la estructura es, I'm going to play tennis. I'm going to wash. ¿Ya? Yeah. Y como aquí estamos con el present continuous, vaya directo con el verbo. ¿Ya? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's like, on Sunday, I'm washing my clothes. On Saturday, I'm, I don't know, traveling to Japan. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, very good. Thank you so much. Eh, Ernesto, thank you, Ernesto. Uh, hello, teacher. Um, I have an example. On Tuesday, I'm going to visit my mother. On Friday, my mother and I are going to visit a doctor. Only that. Sí, igual. En los mismos ejemplos, lo que pasó con Lorena. Me está utilizando point. Ok, déjenme les voy a mostrar. Me están utilizando así, ok. I'm going to visit, ok. Así es la estructura que me están utilizando. That is correct, porque me están hablando del future. Pero yo quiero que utilice usted present continuous. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, ¿qué hago yo? Pues esto que tengo aquí, yo digo am y voy directo al verbo, que es este, visiting, 
Okay. Okay. My, let's say, I don't know. Give me a break. Okay, so you can say, I'm visiting my father, okay? Like this one. If you see, this is the structure that I have here, which is, I'm going to visit. This is future, this is future. But what I need you to do is, I'm visiting, present continuous, okay? That's what I need you to use. It's straight to the point with present continuous. And again, todavía está hablando acerca del future with present continuous. Yes? Just be careful with this structure because me, usted me está utilizando future with going to. ¿Por qué se le llama future with going to? Porque está about the future, pero la estructura es esta que está aquí y luego el to y luego el verb in infinitive. That is the reason why. Okay? Just be careful with it. Questions? Sorry, I need to take the attendums one more time. Just give me a minute. So, uh, I'm sorry. Alison, thank you. Ana Marisol. Hello, Ana Marisol. Uh, yeah, I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Andrea Marisol Represa. Uh, Vanessa Landos. Present, teacher. Barbara Cabrera. Present. Thank you. Um, Brenda Castro. Carolina Present, del teacher. Carmen Perez. Claudia Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Claudia. Um, Cristina Monge. Daniela Asensio. Edgar. Present. Um, Ernesto. Hello. Griselda Moreno. Present. Ivania Stephanie Mendoza. Um, Jennifer Torres. Um, Jennifer Moss is now here. Jennifer Moss, uh, Jennifer Guadalupe Torres. Jennifer Moss, Jennifer Marroquín. Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Okay. Um, Karen Garcia. I'm here. Polocho. Um, I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Laura Molina. Present. Thank you. Um, Leslie. Present. Thank you so much. Um, Lisbeth. Present teacher. I'm sorry, I think my mic my, my is off. Um, Lisbeth. Uh, Lorena del Carmen. Present teacher. Yeah, Mayra, Raul, Dalila, Ruth, Present. and Stephanie Abigail. Okay. Um, oh, Anna Marisol. A mí no me oh, Jocelyn. Let me check Jocelyn. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. I got you here. Okay, Anna. Marisol, you ready? No, nothing did you uh, Nada, solo la manita había quedado levantada, creo ahí. Sorry about this. Let me double check this. Claudia, oh, no, I'm sorry, Carolina del Carmen. Yes, give me a minute. Hi, teacher. Hi, 
Okay. Here we have these pictures about the different things that we can do, right? Learning a foreign language, uh, raising a child, um, motivating, mo renovating, I'm sorry, renovating the house, working in another country, learning to drive, writing a blog. These are the, like the typical things that we can do in the future where you can use present continuous to talk about it, okay? Don't forget that you can use this one like anytime. Present continuous, you have two options. You can use the present continuous when you talk about something that you do at the moment, or you can use present continuous when you talk about something that you do in the future, okay? Uh, do you have a question? If not, I'm sorry for the inconvenience with the internet connection. Good night, take care, practice your English, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. take care.